Hello, Pouring Nation. Today we are going to review the Sargent Art Pouring Medium. Now, this pouring medium I purchased on Amazon. Um, it comes in three different sizes the 8 ounce, which is about $1.55 per ounce, 32 ounce, which is about $1.23 per ounce, sorry, the 16 ounce is $1.23 per ounce, and the 32 ounce is 91 cents per ounce. This bottle here is the 16 ounce bottle. So, this pouring medium is um, a little bit off-white, very sticky. So just warn you up front, uh, it's hard to get off your fingers. Probably with this pouring medium, you'd want to wear gloves. Um, the other thing that I have noticed with this pouring medium that it actually says right on the label is not to use with oil. So it doesn't work very well with silicone oil like some other pouring mediums do. So what we're going to do today is talk really quickly about the pouring medium. So the, here is a swatch of the pouring medium just all by itself that I have let dry. It is very flexible. It is pretty thick. Uh, but when it dried, you see all the bubbles and the little, the little uh, crazes inside? Now those are underneath, they're not on top. They're inside, so you don't actually feel them. There's lots of bubbles and lots of crazes, which I wasn't really uh, enamored with. Not only that, as you can see here, it is off-white. Now I do apologize for the canvas. While I was setting this up, I knocked over my purple, as you can see with the paint under there. But not to waste a perfectly good canvas, I just uh, wiped it off and we're still going to go with the uh, this canvas to do our test with. So it's, it's okay. I mean, it's okay thick. Um, you don't notice the yellowing when it's in with the colors, but you can kind of see here it's even yellow compared to the white background there. What we're doing here is we're doing one part pouring medium, one part paint. Each of these paints are the uh, Deco Art Americana that I picked up. And I have already mixed these two. I'm going to mix this one for you, and I want to show you a little oddity about this pouring medium. So it actually mixes quite well. Takes a little more effort than some of the other pouring mediums, but that's not abnormal. So this, this paint that I'm using is not really, it's soft body and on the softer side of soft body, not quite a uh, craft paint, but on the softer side of soft body. But it, when mixed with this pouring medium, it gets really thick. So something about the composition of the pouring medium makes it uh, really get thick with these paints. So I definitely have to add some water. So one of the other things you'll notice about this pouring medium compared to some of the other ones that you've used is the texture is much, much, much different. So I will show you this. Let me mix this water in really quick. Normally with a pouring medium, you can get a, you know, a medium sized popsicle stick or wood crafting stick like this, pull the paint up and drip it back in. And that paint will, this is really thick that paint will uh, leave a mound and kind of disappear. Uh, that doesn't actually happen with the Sargent uh, pouring medium. Um, it, it is odd. And I think I'm gonna need a little bit more water than that. But as you can see, this pours in and doesn't make a mound at all. It just, um, there's no defined mound. It's there, but you can't really see it. There's no definition to that mound. So it's hard to tell, compared to other pouring mediums, uh, when it's the right texture. Uh, one thing you can do is do the, the, this method where you're, mix, you're pushing it all around and then waiting to see how long that the, the texture goes away and gets kind of input into the other ones. Now I'm just going to... Double check here, so I'm a little bit thinner. Uh, that's not necessarily a bad thing if you're always using this pouring medium, but if you're using another pouring medium and you're kind of starting out with this one, it will take a little to, to figure out how the uh, consistency should be because it is much different than other pouring mediums. So we're gonna pour this on an eight by 10 canvas. Um, quick way, uh, if you're just starting out with acrylic pouring, is 
take the surface area, in this case 8 by 10 is 80, if I include the sides, I've got another 10 on these two sides and 8 together, these make 8, so 98 square inches, divide that by 25, comes up with 4, so you need 4 ounces of paint. I'm using 3 ounce cups, so I'm going to have about 6 ounces of paint here, plenty to do this. And what we're going to do is we're going to do a just a straight pour and I'm going to do this in three different sections so these colors after they've mixed they actually look really well it's just kinda of hard to get the right consistency up front put these off to the side So again here, we're just going to do a straight pour, just straight out. Alright, so something very odd there is look. When I first started pouring, I got some nice distinct colors. The middle, it muddied quite a bit. And then the end, it became nice and distinct. That I have never seen on a pouring medium, honestly. I didn't pour it any quicker. Um, not that I noticed at least. But that is a very odd thing for a pouring medium. I guess it depends on how you like your painting to look. There is a little bit of bubbles there, so I'm going to grab my torch. Now, I did mix those quite quickly, especially the orange. Um, so, I do expect a little bit of bubbles. If I would have left it for an hour or so, I wouldn't get near as many bubbles. So... Seems to sl flow pretty nicely, and I've got way, not way too much, but more paint than I'm going to need here, so I'm going to knock off a bunch of that. And as I mentioned before, this paint is very sticky, so um, either wear gloves or um, go wash your hands quickly after. I really am not liking how that orange is ending up, so we're gonna couple things to notice here. One, I would recommend keeping this paint a little bit thicker. It would keep this from happening. This is what's going to happen when it's thinner. This is what's going to happen when it's a little bit thicker. Um, the only reason I can think of that that happened was I poured this faster than that and it mixed because it's kind of on the, the thinner side. But then I slowed down a little bit at the end which kept the colors a little bit better. Both actually look really nice. Um, you know, this effect is actually pretty cool. I didn't like how the orange kind of took over. But I got some nice color there. And um, hopefully that stays and I keep that darkness there. But otherwise, you know, it poured out pretty nice. I'm not very, uh, not too disappointed with that. I would say leave this on the thicker side. So one thing I did notice, uh, I did a test of 11 different pouring mediums. And I'll link the video up above. Um, where I did the same pour with the same colors on those 11 pouring mediums and then I tested how they mixed, how they dried, the color and the cost and a couple of just notes for each one. You can see how the Sargent pouring medium ranked compared to those other pouring mediums in that video. So we are going to let this dry and we'll come back and see how it looks. 
All right, we're back with the Sargent Art Pouring Medium Test. Uh, I have two here. This is the one that I just poured that you saw. It's been uh, three days. It's now dry. This is the one that I did with the 11 Pouring Medium Roundup, which I'll link in the description below and up top. So, first the good. The, the finish is really nice. It's really glossy. Um, that is a really nice finish, which I like. Some of the colors that we got, the color separation here was really nice on the um, the tree ring pour on this straight pour. Also, I got some really nice colors there. I really liked that. Um, that's about all I can say good about this. There are just too many bads. One, this has been dry for weeks, and you can hear... Uh, hopefully you can hear that in the mic. It's tacky still and they actually say that you need to put a covering over it um, Because it's tacky if you don't you're gonna get dust and all sorts of stuff in this. It's really not a good uh, Clean finish for how it looks uh, It's not a good finish number two the consistency was so odd This was a straight pour part of it the first part of it you can kind of see here was nice and, and uh, clear and defined. The second part went all muddy and the third part was nice, clear and defined. I do not like when things aren't consistent. So that's a negative for me. Um, it does not work with oil. This is a test that I did with oil. They actually specifically say it won't work with oil. I just wanted to see what it would do. So that's also for me a negative. Um, and when I was mixing it, it was so hard to mix. When I was mixing, how it looked was so different than other pouring mediums. Now, granted, you could get used to that. Um, but ultimately, two thumbs down for me uh, for the Sargent Art pouring medium. One thing that I would consider using this for is adding a little bit to like glue or maybe to Floetrol to give it a little bit more of a um, glossy look and to give it a little bit more of a, let me show you here, give it a little bit more elasticity so it doesn't break um, like you see with glue. That I could totally see. Otherwise, I would not use this pouring medium. So there you have a guy, again, if this is the type of uh, material you're looking for, I'm gonna do this to the other 10 um, pouring mediums that I tested before. Give a like, give a subscribe, and come back next week for the next pouring medium review.